Look who just arrived, look who just arrived. Forest in the building, dude! How are, you, how are you feeling? I'm so hyped. Yo, for those of you guys that don't know, this is Forrest. So originally he was the sickos filmer, but he bailed on that gig and then just hung out with the sickos and became a sicko. Today, we're going to Mount Hood Meadows. He snowboarded, I'm skiing, best of both worlds. It's already kind of starting to snow, Forbes. I know, We're dude. so on, dude. I'm so, so on. Fresh powder day. Me and Forrest are both like the biggest froth masters for the mountain ever. And we're like the two out of the group that was like in Hawaii. Also kind of like, dang, I can't wait to get back to the mountain and go ride. Look at him. He's got his fresh blade ready to go. New shovel just in case we want to build a Oh, uh, We need a shovel to get out of the parking lot, I heard. It's oh, going to be dumping yeah. so hard. Hopefully we score. We'll see. Look, snow in the hills. Fog everywhere. It's the perfect Oregon day. Let's get it. Touchdown Forest! Here we are, man. This is first day of the season. Stoke levels are so high right now. Anyone out there who skis or even surfs or whatever, opening day is always a big deal. So, me and Forrest right here, getting it going. Boom. It's kind of dumping. It's uh, not like dumping, dumping, but it's almost dumping, dumping. I think it's gonna be once we get on the chairlift and rise up a little bit more. Forrest just went to grab his pass. I'm going to meet up with him and it is on. Let's go. All right guys, we on the chairlift. Made it. Something I've been wanting to start incorporating in my vlogs is what GoPro settings I shoot because I always forget, you know, I'm a filmer first. That's what I am. Before I'm a skier, before I'm a surfer, before I'm an athlete, I'm a filmmaker. And if I can spread the, the knowledge of filmmaking and settings and anything like that, I'm just gonna throw them up on the screen subtly or start at least telling you guys what I'm filming in. Feel free to drop questions below because I want to help spread the joy of, uh, of cameras and how to get the best shot. Forrest, got anything to say? Not much. I'm just excited to get out there. Okay. I like I your enthusiasm, but I want to see a little more, man. We've never even rode together. I know. Okay. I'll, I'll try to. I'm as green as I want to be. Cruising through the late night shifts on a jet ski, blowing out. Blowing smoke out my head. It's fine. I don't even know the time. I don't really know the feel. She don't even know what's up. Tell her, tell me how you really feel. But she don't really give a damn Still tell me take a hand Why we even turning up? You remember what the day is? Yeah It's National Fence Day yeah. National F-R-I-E-N-D-S National Fence Day yeah. Oh, big up! <laughs> Big F! You're clipping lips and clipping edges, dude! I don't know how to snowboard anymore. One of the sickest parts about skiing coming to Hood is not only riding and skiing again, but meeting up with friends. What up, YouTube? YouTube! Kale and Tor in the building! Howdy, boy. Something more, but nothing less. All this stuck up from the chest, so I keep a vest on. Trying to keep me in the zone. Man, I feel so home alone. Swear my heart is hella broken, but I swear I play it cool. Love the party, love the function. Swear I look like a fool. Well, whatever. I'm gonna do my own, yeah, yeah. Hey, swear I'm about to ghost, yeah, yeah. But I'm still here, cuz oh. Hey It's National Fence Day National F-R-I-E-N-D National Fence Day Oh, we're snowed in, Forrest Oh no Dude Dumping! Me and Forrest just wrapped up uh, day number one, Mount Hood Meadows. 
Can't ask for anything better than that. Kicking it off, snowy, visibility was okay. It was heavy. There's actually a lot wrong with it, but we're not gonna think about that. It was still sick. Forrest, what do you have to say about your day? I felt good at first, I was so excited, and then uh, I started falling and getting tired, and I just oh, started yeah. eating it everywhere I go, and then I just kind of gave up at the end of the day. Oh! What else? Do you want a pepperoni stick? Oh, yes. Woo! Yeah, T! <laughs> you guys! Today, I'm with my Uncle Tom here. This is my dad's brother. He's the man that got me into the cameras in the first place. I'll tell you that story later. But today, we are hiking up this gorge behind us. It's a classic P&W day. We're gonna go climb up, get some photographs like good old times of a waterfall that's hidden up here. You ready? Woo! I'm so stoked! trail today having to do quite a bit of bushwhacking here getting through it trying to find this hidden waterfall shot and they start sprinting then you eat shit and all goes to hell oh <laughs> see almost did it almost just fell <laughs> that is mental i'm gonna pull out the camera and get some shots here okay we got a good shot right here Dude, I'm like tripping out, man. This is what I love about home. Gems, man. I lived here my whole life in this place I never even heard of. That was gnarly. Mental. How about that? That's crazy. You know what? You know what I'm really starting to think? This might be a waterfall that I've freaking been to before. And the trail's right up there. Check out this frame. tip when shooting waterfalls. I love to do that slow shutter. That's that like flowy look that you might see in waterfall pictures. That's because of a slow shutter speed. You gotta leave your camera still for however long the shutter lasts and then boom, you got magic. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put the camera away. Tom's over there waiting for me. Uh, we're gonna head back. Uh, one day, one day we'll get to the top. If, if it's not the waterfall I'm thinking of, then one day we will come back and hike this with proper equipment and get there. Wow, mental though, mental. You guys wanna know how you know you're in Oregon? Because it's 4.13 p.m. and completely dark outside. It's literally pitch black. Also, for anybody wondering about my screensaver, that is indeed little baby Mia, dressed up as a Japanese warrior. She may very well not have even been dressed up. That could have just been her style back then. Anywho, should we talk about the brief story of how I got introduced to cameras in the first place? I mentioned it in the vlog. Tom, the guy I just did the hike with, my uncle, he was the introducer to the camera for Mr. Jackson, myself. 
And the story goes as follows. When I was 16 years old, a sophomore in high school, I went on a family reunion trip to a place called Redfish Lake in Salmon, Idaho, I believe. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Upon arrival, I realized Tom had a camera and I asked him, hey man, can I give that thing a whirl? He said, of course you can, handed me the camera and I ran around the yard and just got a bunch of pictures of freaking squirrels. I'll throw one up. That was the first picture I ever took of that squirrel with a strawberry. And ever since I took that picture of the squirrel with the strawberry, I was hooked. Why was I hooked? Well, because, because I couldn't believe how incredible the image turned out and I was an amateur photographer. I realized that modern day cameras had changed the game and could, you could take anything and it looked beautiful and I was attracted to that and it was this new kind of instant feeling of purpose in life. All of a sudden I wanted to go hike and roam around and explore and it was all because I wanted to get the freaking shot. Literally, it sounds so cheesy and lame but it was because I wanted to go get the shot. Before I had the camera I didn't see a lot of reasoning to go and hike or explore. I just, it, it didn't feel, perp it, it felt purposeless. But the second I got a camera it felt filled with purpose to go and climb a peak because I could do it and get an incredible image out of it and I loved that. I chased that. I craved it. So the second we got back from that family reunion I went to Walmart and bought a Canon SL1. It was my very first camera and ever since then the rest is pretty much history. I believe I bought that camera in the winter though and I was only taking photos photos all the way up until summer when I saw this video on YouTube that changed my entire sp perspective of cameras and now I wanted to try a video. So over the course of 2016 I made a summer video, put it into a three minute montage and it kind of went viral in the town which isn't saying much, that's like 5,000 views, but everybody was psyched on it and so was I. And ever since then it was pretty much the birth of where I feel I was meant to be and my mission in life which is making videos and capturing moments. So. Where this is all driving is a massive thank you to Tom for handing me the camera in the first place because without that, I don't know where I'd be. You can learn a much more deeper and in-depth story about my whole life and my whole journey if you wanna go back and watch my chapter series. It's on my YouTube channel. Just go check out my chapter series playlist, the journey of my life playlist. You can see my whole kind of real-time autobiography and documentary unfolding. By the way, I'm making chapter five right now. Don't worry, it's it's coming out. Nonetheless, guys, gonna end it off here. Make sure you check out With Intent Shop. This is the oat fleece hoodie. I've got limited supply of stuff left. We're almost out of everything, and then we're on to the next collection, and this stuff's never gonna be seen again. So if you haven't got a piece of merch, go get a piece of merch. I love you guys all very much. Thank you so, so much for the continued support. Y'all are legends. The growth has been unreal lately. We're going to keep this train rolling. We're back in hood for a little bit, and then we're on to the next adventure. Thank you, folks. And don't you think I forgot to say, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next Friday.